Hey. Yeah, yeah. We're back with Go That Night. Danny got that juice. I need everybody to turn the music up. Let's go. Call me crazy shit, at least you're coming. You know what it is. Feels better when you eat me up, don't it, babe? Got a special guest tonight. I'll let you introduce yourself in a second. Ready to Home. fuck some shit up. Call yeah. me crazy, but at least you callin'. At least you callin'. You like money shit, at least I'm ballin'. Hey. I'ma try you crazy if you let me fall in. I won't hold bad, I promise I'll go all in. Hey. Talking about hitting from the back, digging in the chest, screaming I'm the best, got her under rest, feel me in the flesh, relieving all the stress. She know that I'm the best, it's hickeys on the breast. She love how I lick, she love my dick, she love my vibe, that's a triple threat. I love her vibe, I love that pussy, I love how she not them strip of tricks. Call me crazy shit, at least you're coming. Uh. Feels better when you eat me. This song is called All Night, and it will be available on all platforms very soon. Get to hear it first at Go That Night. Yes. So, welcome. I'm so excited to do this interview. Tone is not here today. He is out, I think, filming um, for Dragon Con. So um, this is just going to be me and you. Okay. Uh, go ahead and, inter- and introduce yourself. Let the people know who you are and how they can find you on social media. Hey, everyone. Um, my name is Mercedes. Um, also, Melanie. It depends which audience you know me by, either spiritual or my adult entertainment. Um, you can follow me on all social media at Mocha Drips Cream. Like the coffee. Again, that was Mocha Drips Cream. Yes. Um, and on my TikTok, it's ex Buddha, like the guard with the booty. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So you said uh, Mercedes or Melanie? Yes. Depending on how they know you. So with the adult entertainment, what, which one is that? Um, that would be me as being like a dancer, acting modeling, mm, content creating, porn industry. Okay. So you have an OnlyFans, right? Yes. And How did that get started? Too. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. How it really started, it was by accident. Um, <laughs> I had just recently had like a baby. Like before that, I was known for dancing. I was just really known for dancing. But after having my baby, like, I had, like, the perfect, like, people think my body is great now, but, like, no, like, (laughs) I had nothing but, like, six-pack, like, no stretch marks or whatever. But, like, yeah, so it was hard for me, like, adapting to my new body. Yeah. Especially, like, not having a lot of support system. But anyways, um, I don't know. I was just, like, got on TikTok. Like, on my TikTok, I was already, like, cooking. Like, teach myself how to cook on different TikToks that I was seeing. So, one night, something was just, like, make a video. And the caption was, like, stepping out of my comfort zone. And I had, it was, like, regularly clothed. Like, I had a pajama. It was Chris, around Christmas. So, I had, like, my Christmas set on. It was long sleeve, long pants, pajamas. And I just made, like, a little semi-twerk video. Like, it's still up right now. But... And then, like, from that, like, everybody from my hometown just, like, started sliding up. And a girl that had, I guess, was already viral and famous on OnlyFans and everything, she asked me if I wanted to create one. And at that time, like, I was already kind of, like, struggling. I wouldn't say, like, struggling, but, like, I was making it happen, but it was just, like, it's, like, it's seated, like, so I was like, shit, why not? I got all this sex appeal. Why not? Like, yeah. So that's what she had me do. She had me come over. Well, in my house, I had a, like a one bedroom apartment. So it was just me, and my baby, and she had like two kids, all this other stuff. So it was best for me to go over there. So and it was supposed to be just like a day thing and it turned into like a week thing. But she had me create like every social media, like Twitter, Instagram, or get active on my Instagram, 
do a TikTok, my OnlyFans. Um, so, and she was just telling me, like, I have to be active, be, like, consistent, listen to the latest music and all this stuff. So she was, like, putting it on me that I had to do all this, whatever. But when it came down to, like, she wasn't helping me with anything, and, like, I didn't know anything. Like, I was just, like, stuck. But, like, she was coming at me, too, like, talking cash. Like, are we able to cuss on here? Yeah, of course. She was talking shit, like, major shit to me. Like, look at you. You're not doing nothing. da 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 da, da. So, like, long story short, I just, like... Just started putting in the work, like the editing, the graphing. Like, if you go look at my TikTok, the, my original TikTok, it was Buddha with the booty. You can still find it. Like, it's so crazy. I gained a thousand followers in four days. Like, Dang. Yeah, it was so crazy. So, long story short, she got like mad. And when I created my Twitter account, I had used her phone because my phone wouldn't let me. And you know, at this time, we got like the face. Thing. So I wasn't thinking about changing my password. Yeah. So when she got mad at me, like she had told me, I got the video too. So that's why I like I'm starting my vlog because I got actually everything recorded from since I started to where I'm at now. So that's why I want to start like my TV series vlog, all that on my YouTube channel, which I got too. A sexual intellectual entertainment. But <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how that started basically. And from then, like she blocked me off all my accounts, like. Everything. So instead of quitting, like I just started over. Yeah. And that's where I had the mocha juice green. Like that's why my TikTok is Buddha with the ex Buddha with the booty because that's what it originally was on my names on all platforms till she did all of that. So after that, I just started doing my own thing. Like and then like from my fans and followers, like I end up having a, a like a fan favorite. End up. Moving from LA to where I was at to be my boyfriend, homie with my content, like we had a cuckold like relationship. Then like he's just like it was just crazy. So like just from like everything happening, like I just never stopped. I just kept on being persevering and resilient, and I got all the other platforms as well. Like like okay, another thing is like a lot of people was blocking me or like reporting my content like when mm -hmm. I was posting it like and I wasn't even doing nothing explicit or crazy like but it's just from I grew up like from a innocent or what they call it down here green I guess background like grew up in the church I mean like two months prophesied over like very deep we could talk about it on another like level or whatever at another time but so when I started stuff in this industry like Nobody, they didn't understand. Like they just like, oh my gosh, you're starting with Buddha. Like that was my nickname. I have so many names. Like <laughs> <laughs> I have Buddha, Melanie, Mercedes, my government name. I'm not telling y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you have so many. They don't need to know. <laughs> yeah, but they fit me. It just fits. Like I used to think there was an alter egos or like person, but I just feel like since now, like where I'm at, like it makes sense. Like I just like making people feel good. And like overall, like I want to be like a life coach or an inspirational speaker. So it's just like with me being having a background and the, I guess the skills that yeah. I do, like I'm able to be like multi or sort of like a chameleon in all platforms, like from corporate to this, like or on a spiritual level to this. So it's just like. With me wanting to be the inspirational speaker, like that's why I really went into the entertainment industry for us. Started taking it more serious. Like I could have gave up, but overall, I always wanted to. Like I said, I've been prophesied so that I was going to bring many souls into the kingdom of heaven. Like to never stop playing the piano. Like my night souls. You just, can like, play the piano. I I could read music really well. Like, wow. When I did play the piano, like I never practiced. Like <laughs> I would just play at my rehearsal and just come back and that's what my piano teacher used to tell me she's like if you just practice like just imagine how great she'd be but she just recently passed away fly high so that's another reason why I've been trying to step into the music industry as well because that was something that was said ordained or destined to me so I feel like I could use that in my music and everything like that so yeah. it's just like overall I'm just trying to minister like just save souls really and Everybody you don't like the same thing, and I happen to be able to please everybody with everything, and that's what makes me feel good. Like making somebody, like giving somebody a smile or a hug. Like I know I'm getting off subject, but that's why I don't like really see myself being in a relationship unless it's like 
a divine masculine energy that's serious like our yoke is even because just trying to give somebody that's seeing the hope and potential on a man or just being finessed by a narcissist or like a wolf in sheep clothing like, yeah it just get in a way of like when you actually have a mission like or when you actually know what you out here doing like it's easy to sidetrack like the regular average female out here and like that's another thing like when we get on those subjects like like it's just like it's it's a balance, like you just gotta know how to do it. So, but overall, that was the reason why I stepped into the industry because it's bigger than me. Like, I'm out here trying to save these like people, and that's why, like, with my spiritual following and everything that I had, like, that wasn't enough for me. Like, at the end of the day, because I know how to be judged, or well, they say your own God could judge you, or your heart had to be lighter than a feather, according to ancient Kemet and mythology and stuff like that. So. I know I can't sleep like that an hour. I at least can't stand before God, myself, whatever you want to call it, and say that's why I didn't do nothing. So I, I have to, like, it's, like, I'm the one. Like, that's why my social media, Twitter is the one. Like, and I'm the sex teacher. Because everything I'm doing is truth. Like, I don't play no games. Like, if I put something in my mind, which that's the magic, the secret, that nobody really understands. Like, literally, if you can see it, Think it, you can see it. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. Like, definitely. It's like how they say, all you need faith is the size of a mustard seed, but also faith without work is dead. Like, that's the difference between praying, having a religion, and believing in like spirituality. Like, believing in the Creator within. Like, you don't have to ask. You know, you are, it's already yours. Like, saying you are God, you manifest. Saying you are God ain't saying like you the God. Like, yeah, it's just knowing that you have the Creator within you. So. And like they tell you in the Bible, whether I was made in this image or ye are gods, literally, like, it's all about perception in the mind. Like, man, it's so crazy. Like, so did, you know, being a people pleaser, because I'm a people pleaser too. I like to please. It, it literally brings me pleasure I love joy pleasuring somebody, especially to, my family. Yeah, oh, yeah. To, um, to bring somebody else pleasure. But is that how you started um, Sin ENT? Um, actually, no. <laughs> I was not having sex at all. So that was another thing why I And was... it was called Sin in any So Sin stands for Sexual Intellectual. That's my brand. Sexual okay. Intellectual Entertainment. So I'd be like, is it a sin to be a sexual intellectual? Like, mm. That's how I stunt the minds. That's another reason why I like being an adult entertainment because a lot of people only know me for my spiritual or my innocent or just being such a light. But this, I'm actually operating in my dark feminine energy. That's how it all started, like... Because, like you said, I was that people pleaser. Like, I just wanted to love everybody, but I was doing that because I was never receiving that. Like, mm. even growing up, like, I was like, I was adopted in my family. Like, I was like, at the end of the crack pandemic, like, I was like, my mom would have drugs with all of me and my sisters. Like, mm. but supposedly, and that's the crazy thing, it's just like what people tell you, me and my youngest, oldest sister, whatever next to me, with the youngest, we had it the worst. Like, and supposedly me, like, I was supposed to be, like, mentally retarded all my life. Like, I wasn't supposed to be doing nothing, but just even when I was doing the little stages or whatever, like, I was excelling fast. Like, and I actually have a high IQ, <clears throat> but... I don't even know my IQ. I, like... Did you have to go, like, get tested somewhere? Like, you just do, like, you could do it online and all that stuff, oh. but even, like, with the, like, the military and, like... Even like with just recently what I had to, what I just been like going through when I just came back, when I started, move, when I moved here, like I had to do an evaluation test, like by an actual, yeah. like, and I passed it, like, and I was being honest with everything, but it's just like that. And even when I got into the military, like they asked you questions to test you, like, and like I got over it. Like, How long were you in the military? For four years. Did you enjoy it? Um, It was an experience, like everything, I understand why I went through everything, so like, that experience, at one point in time, yes, but I didn't get what I was supposed to get, my, like the benefits I was supposed to get. Mm. Even now, like my current circumstances, like if I would have had, like they would be, would have helped me or anything, like I would not be technically homeless right now. Like, mm. so it's just like a lot. Like even with Georgia, like the veterans being like favored and like, it just don't make no sense. Like I'm not making excuses. Like if I told y'all, like that's like another reason why I've been documenting everything. Like. You really just gotta believe in yourself. Like so many people told me to go back home, even like the people that I cherish, like 
my dog, my best friend, Nessa, Unnecessary Nell, she do now. It's like, and I motivated her. And like, that's the thing, like along this whole time, like how I say I want to be a life coach or motivate people, like, I we used to say I'm a child of the universe because like when I left to pursue my career, my mother who adopted me or raised me told me she didn't want nothing to do with me no more. Like, and I got that recorded too, y'all. Like, mm. like it's so crazy. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. Like, I don't like getting like something. Like I said, everything, everything happens for a reason. Like, it made me who I am today. Like, and it's just like it molds you. Like, like I told y'all, the greatest and purest thing is for from the absolute grossest where I'm in that thing is, so. Now, I know we told you already off air about our dance-a-thon that we're having. We're also going to have a chef-a-thon um, these next two weeks coming on. We're going to have some chefs come in here. We're going to taste test their food. And on air, um, we're going to have a little audience. That's I'm so excited because I love food. I'm a foodie. Um, but when we have the dance-a-thon, we want to have you come back too. Okay, great. Since you are a dancer. And um, so tell me some experiences, you know, with being a dancer. Like, what, what got you into that? And, um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I just started dancing. Like, recent, recent? Yeah. Okay. How's it been going? Like, have you been any places that, you know, like Magic City or, like, anything? Like, like when I went with you guys to the, for the music video, like, that was the first time I went to, like, a dancing, like, a strip club. But, like, after that, like, I had a promoter reaching out to me, asking me to come dance there. So it's just, like, and then okay. I had another promoter. Like, I have, like, like Blue Flame and people in down, like, reaching out to me. Like, but I just never did. But the reason why I wanted to dance, I guess, I, well, I didn't tell y'all my government name, uh, but my name is Natisha, which means Lord of Dance, Lord, L-O-R-D, <laughs> of Dance in Hindi. So, like, growing up, I always did dancing. Like, um, from in the church, like, I did mom dancing all the way to even college, I was doing mom dancing. Um, I actually danced for a professional school of dance. It was called Long's. I danced for like 10 years. I did tap and hip hop, mm. did ballet combo. Um, they even wanted me to be like in a finale, like when they throw the little girls in the air and, and the hooves and stuff. Yeah. Like, my mom couldn't afford paying for the classes and stuff like that. So then I just like leaving for going to college, like that's when I was gonna be free. So then I really had to learn, I had a passion. Like that's when I started like dancing more, like twerking and all that Yeah. Stuff. Like, Find out, like, dang, this lay booty matter right here. <laughs> so, and then I always had, like, people from bigger cities and states that would tell me, like, dang, booter, like, if you just move down here, like, you would make so much money. Like, I'm talking, like, 10000 a night, like, just so. From then, and that was the reason why it was hard for me to start dancing again after I had my baby, because it's like, what I knew and was comfortable in was different. Like, yeah, I accepted it. You know, I brought a life into this world, yes. Your body definitely goes through so many things after you have a baby. I know I got my, still got my little baby. My kids are older now. <laughs> still got my little baby fat. I got my stretch marks to show my, my little, yeah. So your body definitely changes as a woman. It is liberating though to know that this body brought yeah, children body. into this world. Yeah. So that's what I keep reminding myself when I see the damn stretch marks in the mirror. Yeah. But um, yeah. It's so. deeper than that like women ourselves like we manifest life from a whole another dimension like our vaginas yoni universe is literally a portal like a dimension like sounds crazy whatever but it's the truth like think about it like we manifest a being inside our womb and then not only like this physical avatar we actually manifest a life either a spirit or a soul like that's magic, like goddess. Like I always explain how the English literature is like nothing but a, a book of um, words, like a spells, a book of spells. And like depending on how you say things or spell it, you can do. Um, it can mean like it could be how the same, like there for instance. Like it could be T H E Y apostrophe R E or T H E I R or T H E R E. So it's just like how I look at God, it's like I love to spell like, I have my own way, like word spell, or like my own language, I guess, that I be doing it. So like for instance, <clears throat> energy, like it's E-N-E-R-G-Y, but I spell it 
I N N E R capital G because it's literally my energy. And, oh, in like inside. Mm-hmm, and gotcha. I'm like manifest, and like it's like about that. And then like goddess is another thing I say. You can spell goddess like G O D D E S S or spell it as God is G O D space I S. So God is goddess. Like God uses my me feminine energy to bring life to create life. The yeah. creator use feminine energy to create life. How we just said off of camera, like, we all came here through sex. Yes. Like, that's all it was at the end of the day. Cut the apple open, it looks like a vagina. Like, that's all it was. There's actually a lot of things that look like vaginas to me. Maybe I just have a nasty mind. But... No, because it's like we're a reflection <laughs> of nature. Yeah. But they take us off of that being in, how can I say it without? whatever <laughs> like they just being growing up in this society or with american history or european mythology i guess i should could say like they it's just their society how they orchestrate it, it it pulls you away with that even simply vanilla like it starts from melanin carbon yeah like, why go out your way to whitewash it like it's a lot of that going on mm-hmm. um do you have any wild or crazy Sex stories? Ooh, definitely, but let me see. Hmm, what is your ideal wild? I mean, anything out of the norm, something that might be extreme. Um, I know we were talking about pegging on one of our episodes where it was a scenario. Um, you guys are fucking, and then the guy like brings out a strap and like, babe, you got me. And that was a whole thing. Like, what would you do if this guy brought a strap out for you to fuck him with it? So I actually you... enjoy it. I do pegging. You can. You do me pegging? For... Yes. It's on my Instagram. We have a pegger in the house. Yeah, I actually just made some content for that today. <laughs> it's called Magnificent Series BDSM Kink Fantasy Experience. BDSM. Um, I, I looked up what that meant the other day, but there's a lot of like dominant. Yes, I'm uh, usually a dominant. You're the dominant. Like, even when it comes to men, I see it pagan, like. Right. It, it, as you would be surprised, it's a lot of men that, that people think that's dominant or high class status that enjoy this type of stuff. Like, they enjoy being pegged. Or being dominated. Being dominated. Um, so yeah, I mean, you. so you do pegging. That's that's a wild, so tell that me about, was like how did, how did you, react to that like the first time how did the guy even present that to you or did you present that to him like hey let me try this on you um yeah because he okay so (laughs) getting into sex work okay so sex work and prostitution are two totally different things sex work is independent where the worker keeps their funds prostitution is when it's usually a like a pimp, pimp when they have a pimp or a Mac. So they're not receiving their funds directly or that's where human trafficking and sex trafficking come into play because now you're depriving or you're working them and not, not receiving anything for it. So that's the difference with that before I start speaking on anything. Okay. So into the sex work. <laughs> so yes. Um, he actually was just originally um, somebody coming to see me for a call. And... Like, and see, like I told you, my my work is different. Like, overall, like with sin entertainment, like my overall mission, or when it comes to the adult industry, um, I teach the divine knowledge by opening up your pineal gland, but keeping you interested and intrigued by doing sexual acts, desires, fetishes, BDSM, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, so, yeah. <laughs> or I even take it to like a different thing like on my OnlyFans like I have tutor sessions so in the tutor sessions you can have like a regular FaceTime call but even with the FaceTime calls like I'm teaching you about affirmations and like how to masturbate and speak what you want to manifest or what you see yourself really being because that's the feeling of ecstasy you're already on that high frequency and vibration so when you already see yourself imagine it doing it or speaking in existence it gets things going in a faster way it's like the speed of light versus you praying and act waiting for god to uh what's the word i guess granted i guess yeah you already know that you're putting it and manifest in line destiny like so 
I teach them about that as well. And it's like, it's fun because it's so funny because I actually just did this earlier today. <laughs> really? Yes. And I'd be like, mind fucking myself. Like, because I'm like, I'd be teaching this and people just be thinking it's cap and like put in an instance and like I brought in the Adam and Eve thing. But like, it was so funny. Me, we had had a conversation and the person was like, tell me like, you know, woman came from like man, whatever. But I didn't really say nothing. It was just so funny how the universe, thank you, Matsu Netter, brought a moment for me to be a teacher, but in that light, because it was so funny. The night previous, the guy had already like saying he had seen me as like a sex goddess or like a sex healer, as I already say or project myself to be. So in the moment, it was just like, okay, like, and like, I, so I'm like getting big on like, I'm building my brand. So like, niggas be thinking like they can just finesse on oh, make content and they getting some like, no, none of that. Like, I'll go deeper into that later. But so basically, it came to, and it's like having a mind and standing your divine family. So it came to the point like, I'm great at head, by the way. <laughs> he wanted me to keep on giving head, right? And I don't believe in doing anything bare. Like, I don't care what you are giving head, you eating me out. Like, Sorry, I gotta put down my mix was myself. But anyways, eating me out, like nothing bare. I do not play that. So for the content that we had made, I had did it bare. But in his eyes, I don't know, I don't know if he thought we was chemistry bonding, whatever the case may be. But I told y'all when I'm in my entertainment mode, I'm just thinking business. Ain't no goddamn pleasure. Like yeah. I'm just trying to do what looks good for my audience. Like Lawyer Royal, shout out to y'all, holding it down, gang game. Got like five thousand followers on Twitter. Go follow me, Mocha Drips Cream. Yeah, but yeah, so after that, like, I had things to do here. Like, I told you, like, my circumstances are being homeless or whatever. So just, oh, damn, I don't even know if I should say all of it. Like, but last night I had an incident where I had to basically, like, start from scratch. Like, and I could possibly, like, get my stuff, but, like, the person is just, like, so toxic or, like, it got so much... I wouldn't say fear because I don't let fear cripple me, but like me having discernment and not being blinded by whatever, like love, you know how people put titles, like that's why I'm really big on relationships being built through bonds. Like Mm. forget the title, like just let me have a bond with you. And that's why I say I don't really see myself being in a relationship, especially like with the purpose that I see I'm sitting here to do. Like with my podcast and everything, with everything that I'm doing and like even on a corporate level, like you know how they say, when Jesus come back, everybody, like, that's when, well, when everybody accept Jesus in their heart, that's when Jesus coming back, right? Yeah. So as I was, like, explaining, like, religion or Christianity, Muslim, everything, ancient command is the blueprint, the origin of all religions, even with our empire or the society we have today, from our dollar to the health symbol. The health symbol is nothing but the kundalini energy wrapping around and you reaching your Christ consciousness through what I'm talking about, having the knowledge yourself. But they, what is um, the medical industry? It's nothing but a pharmaceutical business. They sell you on fake drugs, stuff that is what man made, which is artificial, versus nature, which herbs is the way of life. Like I said, we had our way of life. We spiritual beings. We knew how it goes. Like so, we of nature as well. So. Do that's you- why everything is a reflection. Like our hair, how it grows. It looks like the trees or like. The uh, wind, like our, the rings on our finger, if you cut a tree open, it reflects that. That's why with Buddha or Buddhism, he say he see himself in everything because that's what it is. Or with the overall the creator, if God created everything, or even referring to God as the universe, if God created everything, what is wrong with <coughs> seeing yourself as being one or actually giving it the credit for everything it's done then? That's how you know it's a mind control or like it's deeper than what they actually presented it to the people or the the mass to like so do you have any um future business goals like for as far as your only fans and your sin in ent like where are you headed with those things oh straight to corporate like even now like um so like actually how i really and then how i got deeper into guide me, give me the right words to say to not let my anxiety get the best of me. It's still triggering, like, talking about all this stuff that I've experienced, I haven't got to talk to nobody about. Mm. Like, or then, like, if I do, like, they just, like, been snakes, and, like, I really haven't had nobody to express all everything I've been through, so that's another reason why 
I'm ready or so excited to release my vlog because it's like that way like when I do I'm re like even now like this is part of my mission like I don't know who I be talking like you said it's international my only fans it's international I have like 26 countries that's embedded on onto my page and I'm not that's what I'm saying <laughs> that's why I made some content today y'all I did not forget about y'all just been going through the motion yeah, but check it, out her OnlyFans. It's the truth. But the Twitter, you know, like how we sponsor or X, whatever it's called now, like that's can't even update my phone because I have no storage. Anyways, that's what I was gonna go do today before I came here, but ran out of time. But yes, the content is the truth. Check out it on Twitter though, because that's that's like the thing. You say that way you know, and that's how y'all know. Like my I said the bar is different. I'm not nothing or nobody out here, like. That's why I go, and like I said, as I've been explaining to y'all, it's been already prophesized for me to do this stuff. Like, it's just on me to keep it in mind and I get distracted. So that's why every time I do something, it goes viral. Or somebody's blocking me instantly because then what that's created me, having me start over and a, what, a bigger fan base. Or mm -hmm. the stuff that I'm going through, like me being homeless, like some of the things you was asking, I want to do corporate. Like, I want to have nonprofits. So like how I just started my LLC officially, but it was for the real estate side or okay. like airbnb so like with that i plan on tying it all in like i'm all about teaching people about elevating or tapping into their birth rate that's overall like what i see so like if i'm able to get on these platforms okay now okay say how everybody saying i'm living raunchy or how can you do such a thing like like sex work yeah like that's the main thing main question i get asked like if you had a million dollars knowing i have a child would you still be doing sex work and my question is damn right <laughs> i have the money the vision the support everything i need to, to really put what i have in my mind out there right i'm like y'all can talk about me but my baby is so articulate like she she's only two she just turned two and she has full conversations like full word like i can't even talk right now just thinking about it like because we never been away this long either. Aww. But that's the sacrifice I had to make because I knew what I was getting myself into. Like, yeah. So, like, and, like, when I, like, say her birthday, like, or my birthday, like, when it came, like, I was literally down here broke. Like, literally some of my cir circumstances was just changing on her day. And I'm just thinking, like, damn, if I had my baby, what the f would I be? And then when I get a call from her, she got everybody from her family on both sides. From my adopted side, from my, her biological side, on her father's side, from my side, from my adopted side, and both of these, everybody there. So it's just like, it's worth it. Like, that sacrifice is worth it. And that's also another reason why I'm blogging and video and documenting everything because so that way when she do get older, she'll be able to see, like, no matter what anybody was telling you, my word, like, my word was my bond. Like, yeah. Like, and I'm doing all of this for you. Like, all of this, like, it's okay. You know how much money I'm... My brand is a billion-dollar company. Like, a billion is self-made. You know, so many people didn't try stealing my idea from me, like... And I'm still here standing. Like, look where I'm at right now on this platform. Like, and my podcast is coming out soon. So it's, like, a good experience. Like, get to plant the seeds, soak it all in. Like, and, like, how y'all want to bring... Everything is destined, like... Yeah, I definitely... Just a backstory to t let you guys know. Um, we went to um, Reese B's video shoot, and there was a the first location was at a pool. They were having a pool party, and that's where I met her. And then she came with us to the second location. She was in the video in, in the first location. Then she came with us to the second location, and then we ended up having her on the show. So she wasn't even gonna go to that pool party. So I definitely feel like it was meant, it was just meant to happen. And remember, I wasn't going to go with y'all to the other location, right. remember? Because I was so worried because of my circumstances. And I had told them, like, I was leaving the pool party at this time. And they was just so territorial. Because at that time, I was in a relationship. And I had got in a relationship due to some people acting like they wanted to help my circumstances. Mm. Again, me going out to dance. One of my first nights going out to dance. A couple seen me, but it was the girl coming after me so long story short they wanted to continue the relations with me but not have the relationship with me so I'm like cool just like y'all saying y'all got an extra room like all right I'll pay y'all the they like they was not with that like they just wanted me to be in a relationship with them so hmm that's what it turned like in. polygamy polygamy but this is the crazy part 
the shorty who asked me to be in a relationship is not polygamous. She is strictly dickly monogamous. <laughs> like what? she is for that's the why we so kept on she, bumping you think heads. She was like, doing it for her man, like to no, please not her even man. for her, for herself. Like yeah. she herself has like a fetish, a desire for like a woman, mm. and she was bringing her man along, like because he knew she liked it. So he suggested these things, but he's really poly, like and yeah, like. I'm not trying to put all the business out, whatever, but it's just like, so it's like both their ways. Like, I'm just saying, that's why my brand is sexual intellectual, because even if I do not agree with you, I'm going to understand or take the time to understand your perspective. And if I don't, I'm going to ask questions. I tell everybody when I meet them, I am an analytical, logical, wait, no, I say I am a deep thinker, logical, critical, analytical thinker. Like, so if that from there, be like, just don't come because it's just, like, a waste of time. Yeah. Like, and I'm used to being alone, too. And, like, I'm used to being alone because of all this stuff I, like, I go through. And people always be like, oh, you can always talk to me. It's right? so And then, like, when it's, it's just, like, it's too much to bear. It's just, like, I don't know if they be like, damn, like, she been through a lot. Or it's just, like, damn, she's going through so much. And I'm in my own situation. I can't even help her. So it's just best for me to go the other mm. way. Like, And that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm a deep thinker, like. And that's all, and that's why I go out my way to make people feel better or smile or all that because I know what it feels to be like neglected of that. And that's why I say it's a, you can make the choices. Like people, the example that people use, like an alcoholic, like someone, someone can watch their parents. Like two children can watch their parents become or be alcoholics, or whatever. One can make the decision and become an alcoholic because they seen their parents be alcoholic, or one can make the decision not to be to an alcoholic drink. because they seen that for instance, like. My bow bit. I don't, if y'all ever hear me do drugs, don't believe it. I just told y'all I was born a crack baby in this world. So that alone scares me. Like, like yeah, I made it through that fight, but I ain't even trying to deal with anything that's close to it because since I already had it in my system, I might already be immune to it. And then I can't stop it. Like I said, I got a mission in mind, so I cannot yeah. let stuff like that get to me. Like, so even like if it's in the wrist of the mouth, like it's, I, I already know not to make an impulsive decision. And if, and if I did really thinking about the end goal in mind, it's not worth it. So that moment of temptation is worth the self-discipline and self-control yeah. to keep pushing forward. And with that, that's a test by God. Or if you've been manifesting to see if you have the discipline and the self-control to be rewarded, what you've been praying and asking and trying to manifest. So it's just really having a knowledge of self, which thing don't give time think about it in society. You wake up, go to work, or if you got kids, get your kids ready, all that in between that, go to work, deal with your work there for eight hours, whatever the case, or eight to 16 hour shifts. Like, then you come back. Women on the main thing got to come back and then help their masculine and so called energy take care of that household on top of that. So that's why I like with the 50 50 and all that. like. I could agree to it to an extent. It's just like it depends like on a bond and a relationship. And if I'm operating truly in my feminine energy because like what I was just going through and one of the experiences I was just talking about like right now, like the person asked me, like I, again, why I hesitate to go out dancing. But I went out dancing again. And guess what? Oh, somebody has an opportunity. For me. But the thing was like, I didn't make as much as I wanted to. And y'all know my circle, so I'm like, I'm spending to get, do these tempers and like, time is like, I barely, like, something gotta give, you know? So I could be like a Debbie down, oh, I not have money, but I know I gotta invest money to spend money, or yeah. if I didn't get yeah. it that time, something else is coming, and that's the secret. Like, you gotta always keep, think positive no matter what. It's like, you wanna step, hit your, like, you wake up in the morning, you tuck, hit your foot on the, the edge of the um, bed. Yeah. From at that moment, and you be like, oh, shit, like, I'm about to have a fucked up day. Everything after that that you do is going to irritate, piss the fuck out of you. It will be a oh, fucked up day. Oh, squeeze the toothpaste thing, too. Oh, my gosh. I, what the fuck? Go out into the traffic. Oh, traffic's too much. Oh, you get to work. Everybody's pissing me off. Like, it's already starting. But if you just be like, oh, all right, you know, shit happens. Yeah. You know, I'm still going to have a good day. This isn't going to stop nothing. Speak after you're going to see the blessings that's coming. Like, maybe all the lights is going to change to green. And if you're running late, you'll be able to get to work on time. Or maybe somebody have the snack. Or since you was, it wasn't able to eat, now when you get to work, somebody got a surprise meal for you. Or yeah. somebody offered to take you. Like, you never know. And, like, that's what happened. Like I told y'all, when I went to the pool party, I went to the pool party as a dancer. I had paid my tip and everything. 
they didn't not. <laughs> They did not Nobody was like, dancing there. Nobody was dancing. When I came in, I started dancing. They got me dancing on the ground. I got in the goddamn pool and everything. Still nothing. And then that's when, like, y'all came. And I just had made a joke, like, damn, I should hop in that video. And whoever was recording was like, shit, might as well. So I was like, fuck it. In that moment, like, was wondering, like, shit, do I do it or not? But just think if I didn't follow my intuition. Yeah. I would have never been here. Oh, I'm like, glad you did. So, so yeah, everybody, to... follow your first thought. I didn't mean to cut you off, like, because I'm a spiritual teacher. You, so I have to do the balance to let people know it's real, like, because that's what it's overall about at the end of the day. Like, I don't know who need to hear this, but never, whatever God put on your heart or in your mind, like, that's what it is. Like, your imagination. That's why babies are so precious, because they come into this world with that connection to the creator already. They get stripped of that growing up in this society, in this yeah. world. Even think of imaginary friends. Those are spirits. Those are actually entities that the babies are seeing because they come from that dimension. So it's they have it's not nothing that they see in like the spectrum of light. Like our eyes adjust to the light being here on this earth because we can only see a certain frequency. Yeah. Based on where we at, whatever. So it's just like the more we hit them with our American traditions and culture, cultures, the more they get stripped of their natural nature of spirit. Like, yeah. Same with us. Like literally, just think how they say, oh, we're supposed to hug trees or walk barefoot. Think about it. They put our feet to a piece of paper when we first arrived, come into this world. People just think, oh, yeah, I have, I have my baby on oh, his memories. No, they're making you a slave to this world. You are supposed to have a connection to this earth. But instead, they make you a slave to the four dimensions. And they take a picture and a screenshot of how the skies. But have us thinking astrology and mythology and all this stuff is voodoo and scary. But that's the things they do to keep in control of the powers that be. Think about it. How if, well, a lot of people don't know, but supposedly melanated, not supposedly, it's a fact. Look it up. We live in the era of aquarium. Everything is literally at the tip of our fingertips. And what do we do? overlook it or they show us in entertainment from avatar to get out to what else everything i don't watch stay connected to like social media and stuff like that because i understand like most and that's just propaganda that they're using to have us stay on that frequency like that low vibration yeah even with the music the hurts that they have our music in is a low vibration isn't it supposed to be at like 420 or something like that at least yeah it'd be Uh like on 375 or 325 Mm -hmm. or something like or 280 like it'd just be all so even if you listen to your divine music or your high music if that is on that hertz of frequency it shuts all that out yeah like that's how i think about oh when we be like i hate that song i I don't like that song but after you listen to it a few times you like it It now you're singing it oh now you bop into it in the club because that's the music the mind control like yeah i grew up i know it's like that because it's this y'all can look him up it's called i think his name is g craig lewis or craig g lewis or something like that but he was a pastor like before all like secular music or music industry became what it is like he was talking about how the music industry was going to make a switch like and he was like Mm. exposing like like how they talk about the illuminati now like he was talking about that but even like with that not to like get off such i know i'm supposed to be talking about sex y'all but (laughs) (laughs) i'm so sorry but even with illumination i told you i look at like the words and i want to be a teacher on that stuff so illumination itself mean light when you put ill in it, it means of not. When you think of really the mm. suffix or the prefix of it. So that means not of light. When you get to, I told you, we come in, I didn't get to do breakthrough, but we come into this world as stars or light beings. That's all our melanated or carbonated beings is. It's just our, our hearts or our suns are, yeah, our hearts has, or stars has have been dormant in, or suns that have been dormant for billions and billions of years. So that's why like when you walk in a room, people feel your energy. Or like how you said, my skin is going to light. Like, you see all this stuff I'm talking, I done mastered my being. I have a mastery of knowledge of self. So I'm able to master myself and conduct the universe or the atmosphere in the world because I know I am the elements in the universe. So I can command things into my existence versus ask things to be in my existence because I am a reflection of the nature. Hmm. All of us are, yeah. <laughs> not just me. <laughs> you learn something new every day. But yeah, let's get juicy, saucy. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go back. So, Jay, you were out of the room, but she has pegged people before. She is a pegger. Yeah, he really like wanted to be my like sex. Like, 
I could be up in North now. Like I told that man, like I needed a partner. Like when he came and seen me, like that's I actually had a divine conversation. And that's usually what happens when I have my meets. It don't just be like no, like I really be talking or it be people coming to see me that have something to do with my uh, life mission. So but back to track. Okay, so yeah, he just was like wanted to be my slave, like. like he was taking me and my friends like out to eat, going out to dinner, like the juicy crowd. I think they had one up there. Yeah. Took me there, was taking me shopping, like spending, like getting me a camera. But long story short, like I told him I needed an apartment basically. Like I had helped him create his own LLC and his own business with the um, entertainment industry, like his own page. Cause he already had a thing of girls like he was helping. That's what I wanted to say. Like along this whole time mission, like I didn't help people tap into their birthright and start living in their life mission and soul purpose like from him like he was just that what is that like your life what you're basically saying here to do you know how everybody be like you got a destiny or yeah a calling so you figure out what that is and then you help them with that mm -hmm. it's like being an dis- empath you know how everybody be like oh i'm an empath i'm an empath. the difference between being an empath and a healer an empath just can take all they feel everything yeah but they don't know how to deal with it like they don't know how to transmute it and turn it into healing and bring it into love and like they just put more chaos yeah if they don't master it like i know my sister used to call me an empath because i'm like so connected to people and um i just want to help like if, if somebody tells me I mean, it could be like a homeless person it could be anything i i automatically take their problems on and now they're my problems yep. I, everybody though yep. and i just just take it all in. So she used to call me an empath. Like, what? Think about it. I had to deal with that. Think about it. I had to deal with it. Like, and that's like, overall, that's my mission, my purpose. But I had to find the balance. Like, yeah. Like, you pour into people, you pour into people, and nobody's pouring into you. It's draining. Yeah. It's like, Very. or it's, if you're dealing with an entity like an incubus or a succubus, that's all they want after you. It's just the less you're, you're being. They don't want nothing to do with your overall soul purpose. It's just like your ego connection or like just a flesh connection. Don't have to do nothing with soul. Like, when you pass away, what did any of that that you did with them help you transmute into the next life? Like, and it's I know it's like so crazy, but like we're in a spiritual warfare. Like even with my sex, like that's why my OnlyFans and stuff is so like pop off the way it do because I'm teaching these things while actually having these moments that everybody loves. So now like it then caught your attention. But it's just like, oh, like, and a lot of people have questions and want to know more about it, but it's not cool. And like, yeah, spirituality then started trending more, but it's only on like the light version. Like, operating your dark feminine energy, like that's all they call witchcraft. Is you having your feminine energy again? They replace, okay, the, the Trinity: God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Where is the feminine energy? You have to come through the woman's canal, yeah, in order to bring life. If a man wants to procreate. He has to lay down with a woman. And their biggest argument is, oh, you need thy rod, you need my penis. Yes, I do. <laughs> That's part of the balance. That's why with the unk, you're at the bottom. Because again, what was that he's just talking about? Provider, protection. That's what the divine masculine energy is. The womb is at the top because it's the, the oh, damn, I have bought a necklace and everything. For it. And it was just so crazy. I had just happened to reach for y'all, right? When I was in the store, because I, I went out my way to get, and get this. Uh, boozy on a budget. Cute. Yeah, follow me on TikTok. <laughs> As you see, I told y'all I'm homeless. So you be one of And my brand is sexual intellectual. So I'm not about to be spending a thousand, like, whatever the case may be. I'm being precise with my dollars. So Rainbow, City Trends, Walmart. Like, I do not give a fuck. called Boozy on a budget. Like, <laughs> we going to get it done. You can check me out on TikTok. I got an outfit of it. But... Like I said, now since I'm getting better, I can show y'all more ways. This is a more higher class of that. Like, But yeah, I got like four or five different outfits. Like, match and match, probably more than that with just three or four items. For how like much? 85, and plus the two shoes. It was like two pairs of shoes, these jeans, three shirts, and uh, like four pairs of biker shorts. Oh, wow. For eighty five dollars, mm-hmm. damn. Wow. <laughs> and I was rushing, <laughs> and I I've said like, see, like I tell you, I'm very spiritual, like in the moment, like I don't just go with the flow. So imagine me want to be in the entertainment, getting booked for, for go sees, for casting calls, for events, and I'm not good with time. So during this whole time of me being homeless and stuff, that's what I've been mastering. Like I've been getting better. No. All the way, but I'm pretty damn good at it now. So it's just like, 
That's what I'm saying. I had to go through that. And again, so the corporate stuff that I want to do, like I want to have homeless shelters. I want to have recreational building, buildings nationwide in our low-income low communities. I want to have um, resource buildings for women in um, local income, whatever, like I just said. I want to have um, uh, physical fitness gyms nationwide and throughout the uh, nation, I guess. So like, but like with all of that, when I didn't get to say exactly how, but how I got started in the entertainment industry was I was a content creator. So one of the girls that I have been first co like communicating with over the past year, who's been trying to get me to do this stuff too, like I've been hesitating with, didn't do it. So why I originally, so I've been speaking in existence, and that's why I love social media because like when the memories and stuff pop out, like you can see me thinking about this, like where I'm at now, putting it into the app. Like yeah. typing and thinking, like, damn, I just want to move out of. I just got a feeling to move out of town so bad, or like, on my. It's still pinned on my Facebook. It's just like I had said, I'm going to change my location, my environment, and something like sh extremely within the next six months. And I had did that October, November, because that's when I started my career, whatever, one on one quote. So then I had moved, left to move to Florida. The last day of February, so like basically March 1st. So October, like November, November, December, January, February, March, like four or five. I had did it before the six months mark. So I was just like, wow, I'm really an alchemist out here. Like, yeah. And this wasn't like my first time doing this. Like this, my first spiritual journey I had, where I've been wanting to model, do all this stuff. Like I have a picture on my phone in my five year goal plan, but me moving here and having to like, be in and out of people's houses or sleeping in and out of the couches. Like a lot of a lot of the men who be acting like they want to do content creating and stuff, like they get mad when I just want to do content creating or even when I just want to do content creating, I'm telling them like you paying me for the content creating. So now the ego coming up like uh, and they just throw all my stuff out. And that that gives them ego like a boost make them feel good because they think based on my circumstances, like I'm just gonna give up. But yeah. I done learned and I mastered and I done had a tear reading. Like that's why my quote, my favorite quote I was saying, y'all stick with me so much. Like the greatest and purest things form from the absolute gross form of nothingness. Like I done basically manifested my from in my imagination, manifesting my reality from that. Like, and a lot of people don't understand. They be like, you crazy, or you wild, or, but it's just like, I like taking risks. And also I say, I'm creating something that has never been done, or I'm paving a way, especially for my children and my prodigy, I'm paving a way that haven't been done. I'm breaking generational curses, introducing generational health and wealth. So when things come present, or like my life is not gonna be the average decent thing, because again, I'm paving, away like look at my water bottle it's like damn near on the edge like I love taking risks like it's just and that's having the knowledge of self like when you able to have that mastery and that's what they don't want you to know they don't want you being an individual hello I was in the, in the military okay but yeah I was in the military so it's just like wrapping it all up I guess like it's just you gotta follow your mind and if like girl if you love sucking dick you suck dick because like I said you bring life from a whole nother world so from a whole nother dimension. So who are you? And that was one of the things I struggled with. Like I said, I grew up in a church, innocent. Yeah. Like, but I always knew how to pleasure my man, make him feel like a god, make him feel like a king. And that was hard for me to express. So like now being an entertainment, people are like, oh, where that came from? But that's always been in me. And it's just like, that's my dark feminine energy, mastering. Yeah. And not thinking what nobody, not giving a fuck what nobody else think or has to say. Like, that's even when your weird. reality is presenting something different to you. Yeah. Like you're not your circumstances. Like, yeah. Aw. Well, thank you so much for coming on. I've had so much fun. We got to talk about some things. I can't believe I actually met somebody that has pegged before. That is a big deal to me. Because we talked about it on the podcast. And it was like, what would you do? And then there's people in the comments were like, no, no, no. I would do this. I would do that. Well, so I love it. I love it. And like, if you check my Instagram, it's a big white guy. Like, huge white guy. Like, and I got the... The, the uh, ropes, like the paddle, like, and if you go on my OnlyFans, it's the actual video, and like me actually having my session, like, I made him, like, he gave me oral, everything, like. On OnlyFans, that's, so that's. Oh, and fan base, like, if you download me on fan base, I go, like, live, like, on there and do stuff, too. Is that what you, so I saw a video on your page where it was like a dildo on the wall and it was wet all on the floor. Oh, no, that's when I was in Florida and I had, did, like, so when I was, like, a content creator, so. Basically, damn, I had a pimp, so like I went down to Florida, 
having a man or like a pimp, whatever. But he was supposed to be like I said, I seen the girls living the reality, and I was in a reality. Like when I post my content, like you're gonna see me in the Teslas, you're gonna see me riding around in the shuttlers, like. I had it all, like, but he was, that's where I learned about human trafficking and sex trafficking. Mm. And he deprived me of, like, I went down to the pictures, of my, I, have, I had $2,000, $2,000 food stamp, went down there with the clothes on my back, so it's not like I didn't have to be in a fucked up position. I was showing the loyalty and the love, and he just overlooked it, took advantage of it. And that's why, like, now with me already having a mind, like I said, I want to have a homeless center, so it opened my mind up now. So anyone that's been human trafficking or sex trafficking, whether child, man, woman, you get to come to my resource, my wellness of healing, and then you get to get rehabilitation of mind, body, and soul, like, and go from here. Like. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you were able to get out of that situation and build your own business. Oh, yeah. And it's just like I had to know. And it's just like me want to do all those things. Like, it's no difference from being a madam in the streets. Like, it's no difference from legal and being in the streets. It's just one's legal and one's not. Like, yeah. So. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first. This is another episode of Goat at Night. I want to say this is episode 15. Yes, so Mercedes got to come on episode 15. I hope it's 16, because if it's 16, my life path number is 7. And that is a divine synchronicity, but if not, it's Oh, 6 and 1. I was like, wait, what? (laughs) But yeah. Numerology, all right. (laughs) Definitely. I always see 555. Mm -hmm. Change. Yeah, so, um, and you gotta look it up. This thing, like, change's gonna come. Yes. All the time we say that. Yep. So, yes, well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for inviting me. And can't help to have you back. Um, to try this food and the dance upon. Shout out to all our followers and shout out to Jay for, um, you know, doing behind the scenes and everything. Yeah. Shout out to the Atlanta Barber Lounge and Tone the Goat that couldn't be here yeah, today. Yeah. We still had a great time. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Me We're too. out. <laughs> <laughs>